Now in 2016-17, in one year, we raised 623 million rupees of an assessment on gaming operations. What we see that, uh, that uh, they, they manipulate the machines and uh, they do not disclose the data as per the machines. So we have uh, discussed uh, with the government, they have agreed to bring a software for this computerized system so that each and every machine is connected to the, this. But so long we do this, we, we intend to establish our teams who would visit the, and see the machines. And the horse owners, during the last three years, we have raised 75 million rupees as assessment. Income tax on the uh, bookmakers, 48 million. GRA is the authority which has a regulatory framework. They are the ones who give the license. They are the ones who are supposed to monitor this. Revenue collection is with MRA. Wherever revenue collection comes, then we start working, and we have started working. Seizure of drugs. Last year it was on the goods worth 212 million. Now it is 2.7 billion. Customs, ATSU, police, they would do whatever they possibly can, but then this is beyond that. If there's a consumption, there would always be production. It is not possible for the customs or ATSU to check 400 passengers coming at a time in a flight and many flights coming every day, to check 2,000 cartons of fruits and vegetables coming from South Africa every evening. This is more a, more a serious task from enforcement and, and seizures and all that. And this is the society, you, me, equal responsibility and equal role. There is no restriction of inflow of capital and outflow of capital. Any person can remit any amount of money or can bring in any amount of money. What customs only wants that if you have 500,000 rupees, foreign currency equivalent to 500,000, we have no problem, you don't have to tell anyone. If you have more than that, file a declaration, I am taking this amount or I am bringing this amount. Matter finishes. The problem arises, people don't declare. Now if they don't declare and we, we find undeclared currency, then some action has to be taken. I am told by Director Customs that now we have a dog which can also smell foreign currency. So dogs can smell dollar and euro, but not Mauritian rupee. What negative income tax means, that income tax people and income tax as a tax has been taking people, from taking money from people. Now, people who don't have enough income will get money. 174,000 people file income tax returns voluntarily. About 25,000 file after issuing the notices. So these 200,000 people pay income tax. Now from their payment, 150,000 people in Mauritius will get a benefit. We are presently dealing with about 250,000 taxpayers. Now we will be dealing with 200 more, 200,000 more people. If the society wants this, to be implemented as soon as possible, we are ready for it.